because we have no expenses. I'm going to let you get 25 dollars in your hands. You get 25 dollars in your hands, just come down at this altar so we can cover the expenses for this meeting. And I'm going to move the credit to the Holy Spirit. But we just, we have a three thousand dollar budget and we share a meeting. It's done. I'm just asking for everyone to come and release 25 dollars and just throw it at this altar. But I hear God saying, change, 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 change. It's time to minister from heaven. See, your instructions come from heaven. But a lot of us have been trying to get instructions from earth. And the reason why you've been dealing with me and there are cycles in your life is because you've been spending too beneath your knees. In other words, you've been going to earth asking people for advice when you need to go to the Spirit. Lord, it's easy.
shoes off. We're getting ready to walk in some different locations. I hear God saying that you're in the season of preparation. I hear Him saying that your heart has been heavy. Mm, I feel the heaviness of your heart. And even though your heart has been heavy, God says, daughter, I am with you. I have not forsaken me. I have heard your cries. I have seen your tears. And I am taking and I am placing them in the bottle. And as I take your tears and place them in the bottle, know that I have heard every thought that is going forth from your heart. And even the concerns about the son and the husband, I hear God says, so it goes that I am with thee. I shall never leave thee, nor shall I forsake thee. And I shall begin to move concerning thee. And you will see my hand in this hour, says the spirit. And as you see my hand, know that I am with thee. But I hear him saying that he had asked you a long time ago to begin to seek him in a place and in an hour in which you have turned your back. Because we sometimes we allow our circumstance to speak louder than the spirit. But I speak to you now, I want you to look at me, daughter. Because as you look at me, you're looking in the eyes of Christ. And I hear him saying, get back in that position. And do not allow anyone or anything to move you from that position. Because this is a season where the Spirit shall begin to visit thee. And I shall begin to relocate the family. And I shall bring unity within the family. And there's going to be a structure that's coming in within your family. And that thing that has been laying heavy on the heart of your family. I hear the Spirit say, watch you see how I'm going to do it. I see some family members that are even having challenges with the place of living. I hear God say, I'm going to move. I'm going to move. And you're going to see my favor. Peace shall be your portion. Enjoy your return. I see you left in the days to come. I bring you that six to five days where laughter shall visit you that will begin to overtake you. And I hear him say there's been an angel of sign. There's an angel of sign. There's an angel of sign just for you. And this angel shall begin to speak to you. You know when, when the Holy Spirit was coming upon Mary, the first thing that happened was that God sent an angel to speak to Mary, to give Mary some instructions. And he gave Mary the instructions and told Mary that there's something that you are getting ready to carry a child. And as he was giving Mary the instructions, the Holy Ghost came upon her and he impregnated her. So the Father, the Jesus Father, was the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost can impregnate you. He can put something in you that you've got to birth. So if you are carrying the Holy Spirit, it's time for you to get birth.
to know where you're going. You gotta know where you come from. So you know where you come from. Now it's time for you to know where you're going. And the Holy Ghost says that where you're going in this season, daughter, is a place where you're going to understand Him even the more. And I see you doing some writing, and I see you literally laying out before Him like never before. Who, who, where, where, where are you um, church wise? What are you doing church wise? In church, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what you need, what I'm hearing, is that it's time for you to get into that teaching position. I see teacher. God says, I've called you to teach. I see teacher, but I see youth in the teaching. And God says, I'm going to show you how to get into my presence to begin to go to the place of teaching. The singing, the praise anointing that's on your life, God says, that is a gift that you are anointed to teach. There's a difference. We can have a gift, and then we can flow in our, in our anointing. You are anointed to teach. And I hear you saying that I'm getting ready to enhance the teaching anointing that is on your life. So get ready for this anointing. How about stir it up now? Oh, I see generations of this in ministry. Oh, I see sometimes we try to fall in the same category as all. But God says you can't do that. Brother and sister can say, you may have a voice, but it's still you have the anointing that's always the yours. See, your gift may wound for you, but your anointing is smears. The anointing comes to smear, and when it smears, it saturates everything and everybody. That's what the anointing does. So your gift is going to take you to the place where your anointing have to shine. So I release you to walk into your anointing. Because you are a prophetic teacher. And you shall begin to see for the youth. And even those that are much younger than you, they shall begin to look up to you. And even the heart of those, you have a heart for the youth. And I hear him saying, daughter, get it in order. Because I'm straightening things out and I'm going to bring you an open door and an open season in this hour. Oh, I see where you've been been disappointed by ministry. Because you put your trust in the wrong individuals. But I hear God saying, daughter, be not concerned because I'm healing you. Even that. Don't look at where you've been, but look where you're going. Because where I'm going to bring you to is so much greater than where you've been.
okay, there's some unforgiveness that she's going to have to walk through. I'm saying, well, she's not going to have to unforgive some people. God says, I'm going to bring a release. I'm going to bring a release. And it's getting ready to happen. That's the spirit of the living God. You know, you're a peacemaker. You are a peacemaker. going to be influential in how you're going to help bring healing to her. You're closer to your mommy than you know. And that your mother looks at you and leans on you a little bit more than you realize. And God says, I'm going to strengthen and even tighten that bond between the two of you. But I hear God say, strength. You shall see my healing. You shall see joy come forth in her. I hear him say, within the next six to seven days, watch and see what the Spirit is getting ready to do.
to obey you. So stop being infatuated about the things that are in the earth realm and realize you have dominion over them. Get back in your position. That's all I want you to do is put you back in your position. We've been weak. That's what you get. My bad. Because I will not allow in your mind to influence mine. Because I've got to stay in heaven. And if I listen to your complaint long enough, I'll bring you, you'll bring me down too. Because I'll start seeing what you say. Because words carry pictures. And because words carry pictures, whatever you speak, to show up. You get an image of it when you release it. You get an image of it because you speak it. So, you have to experience it because you are God speaking to earth. So, whatever level you're speaking on, <laughs> you're going to experience just that. Now, there's a business of you know, you know, you know, Stand up for you. Move forward. Your ministry is getting ready to go to another level, but I see a strong business anointing on you also. I see you also helping and being a blessing to women. In your women ministry, God says, I'm getting ready to enhance. And I'm going to even bring the show and begin to show us to shine the spotlight on it as well. And I hear God saying that I'm getting ready to give you some specific instructions in this season. Because it's not going to be like it used to be. I even see you standing behind the pulpit and you're teaching and you're talking. But God says there's more letter than spirit. And he says I'm getting ready to allow you to tap into the spirit of the which has not, has not walked. Says the Holy Ghost. And I hear him say that you shall see healing manifestations come from you. I see you laying hands on women. And I see you dealing with women that have birth defects literally in their physical body. And I hear God say that your anointing is getting ready to shine forth. You were called from your mother's womb. There was an anointing of your mother to minister and go forth in the things of God. And even though she didn't go to the level, God said you shall be and surpass that. And God says, you shall do it. I don't know if you have a daughter or if you got a daughter, but I see your daughter also shall be in ministry. It's like a generational woman to you. She's going to be doing that. And I hear God say that even my daughter shall begin to speak to my women and break and destroy yokes. She has a prophetic eye, this young girl does. She is radical as she want to be. And it doesn't seem like nobody can tell her. But I hear God say, my hand is the Lord.
to release the help that we release. But I hear God saying, I'm getting ready to show you some hidden treasures. Oh, yeah, there's some treasures in front of God. It's time for you to take some new steps. Come on here now. It's time for you to take some new steps. Because you've been walking real weak. You've been walking real quiet. You've been walking real soft. And I hear God saying, I'm getting ready to call you to make some wider steps. God says, you've been ready to step up in the realm that you haven't stepped in before. And God said, it may seem like it's uncomfortable, but it's going to be me. You know how it is when we polish and we try to dot every I and cross every T. And we try to line everything up and get it, put it in order and keep it in order. But I hear God say, even in the realm, when you put everything in order, it's just like, I came and blew on it. I just came and blew on it. And things just went that way. And things began to scatter that way. But I hear God saying, my hand is up on me. Come, we're seeing that there's been some sickness that's been going forth in your family. God says, I'm going to show you the healing I want you that I want to release within that family. What do you do? What do you do? Are you here in Texas? You travel a lot? I see you doing some traveling. I see some traveling. The door is getting ready to open for you. Wherever your hometown is, getting ready, you're going back. You're going back to your hometown, and there's going to be some things that the Holy Spirit is going to walk you into that will be a blessing. I don't know, I'm looking at this family member that you have. It's like she's a sister. You have a sister? Is she here today? Your sister? Okay, uh, is she out of town, your sister? As I'm seeing your sister, and I hear God saying that I'm getting ready to bring some strength to her. I see where she's in a season of confusion in her life, and I see things that I and I hear him say, I'm going to bring some strength to her. And you shall be play a big part of that that I'm going to release for her, says the Spirit. Because I see you giving her words of encouragement. But I see literally where her heart has been torn out right now. When there's some things that she's dealing with, even in her relationship, even concerning her husband. And I hear God say that you shall be a strength to her in this season. And I'm going to show the healing authority. Get ready because you're getting ready to take a trip and you're going to take a trip to be a blessing to this woman. And God says, I'm going to use you in that. Don't be concerned and don't wonder how, but just look for when because it's coming. It's coming quickly. And I hear God saying, even in your own personal life, I'm going to bring an upgrade. I'm looking at some things upgraded for you. This is your season of upgrade. But most of all, this is your season of stepping out.
to pronounce. Say, stay to show yourself. I just want to know if you're going to get in there and stay. I just want to take the time while you're studying to deal with your mind. Because when you stand before my people, you're going to lose your mind anyway. So I just want you to stay. So you know how to.
Lord. And I hear God say that I'm going to do a miracle in her life. That I'm going to show you. I'm looking at the year 2018. In 2018, she should literally have a husband and two children. I hear God saying, the children that you lost shall come back in your presence. And your daughter shall hurt those children. I hear God saying, do not decide what I am doing and how I am doing it. Do not put me in a box because there's nothing too hard for me. But I hear God saying, restoration is your question.
And when you deal with the prophetic, it's not about you walking in the Lord. Because the prophetic is going to take you out of the box. And he said, he, when he gave us shoulders to call, he showed us Joseph. <clears throat> and how Joseph, not only did they have seven years of lean of, of cow, but also the grain and the corn, there were seven years. There were seven years of famine, and there were seven years of plenty. The corn represents the plenty that's getting ready to manifest in your life. But as it comes forth, you got to know how to store it up. Because when God releases the anointing for you to prosper, you got to know how to store it up. Joseph had the wisdom to interpret the dream for Pharaoh. And when he interpreted the dream, he told him, he said, look, you're going to have to stir, we're going to begin to store up every year that we are dealing with the plenty. Because when the year of famine comes, because it's going to be a consistency in it, we, have, we will have an overflow. Now everyone knows that they, if the economy is saying that we're in a season of famine, this is nothing compared to what's to come. Let me tell you prophetically, before our president leaves that office that he's in right now, we will see a shift in this economy that will bring the people of color to a place of embarrassment. Because of the decisions that he has to make, he's making them according to how he feels. It's not to put him down, I'm saying what the spirit is saying. There's a shift coming in the economy that will be literally, if you're not a part of the kingdom and if you don't know how to live in the heavens, you will not be able to purchase anything. When it comes to traveling, the traveling doors will be so much harder for you to just go from one state to the next. There come in a place where your driver's license will not even get you through into other countries. You are going to have to have visas and passports in order to go. There is another season of battle that's getting ready to hit you. And you have to have wisdom. You cannot, we cannot be a scary people and a religious people and just think it's going to be the same way all the time. You have to use wisdom. And how we use wisdom is we have to allow the Spirit to show us what to do. He told me seven, seven people that can sell seventy dollars. Some of you can do more. Some of you can do more. But he showed me the seventy. And if you're one of those seven people that wanted to sell the seventy dollars, I want you to just stand on your feet. I want you to take the envelope out of my hand. I want the envelope. I want you to hand it to me. Seven people that's gonna show seventy dollars. Put it in the envelope and give it to me.
said, that our soul comes to your love. But you always in my hand. I'm speaking to your mother and I'm looking 